Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I am going to show you AutoDS Shopify dropshipping tutorial full guide. So let's get started. So here we are in our Shopify store and before we get started I'd like to mention that we have an exclusive deal for you in Shopify with the link in the description below so I recommend that you check that out first because it is a very important that you have a paid plan here in Shopify in order for you to start dropshipping in your store because if you only have the free trial then your functions will be very limited you wouldn't be able to sell properly. So now that you know that, so once you have got a paid plan, so now we can get started with the process. So the first one is we need an app in order for us to integrate AutoDS into our store. So we need to go here into the search button and from here type in AutoDS. And we should be seeing this right here. But if you're not seeing the app, you can click here on AutoDS, uh, search for the Shopify App Store. And then you'd get a bunch of results right here on the apps and this is what you want which is AutoDS and as you can see with the reviews so you're making sure that it is legit so click on this one and click on install and then from here we're gonna click on the install button again right here so as you can see here it is install right here and then now we will now be prompted to the AutoDS uh, registration page if you don't have this yet. So in my case, I'll just provide my email address right here and my full name. So let's just go for tutors, Kyle, and the password that I would want to use right there. So now click on join right here. And then uh, there we have it. We can now proceed to the next step right here. So I'm just going to go for never and from here, let's just wait for this one. As you can see, you would need to find the right package for you. So in this case, we'll just be using the free trial. So I recommend that you go for starter 500 instead of uh, 200 right here because uh, of the functions that you would have for your dropshipping store. With this extra functions, you would have an advantage to the other stores. As you can see, you don't have the academy, the full product editor, which is very important right here, the custom branding and so on as you can see there are a lot of features that you wouldn't be able to get when you are on import 200 only so let's click here on start now for free and click on continue and from here basically i am just uh, gonna provide my payment details and now once you have successfully provided your payment method and now you have a plan or subscription here in AutoDS, so now we can start in using the platform so the first thing that you usually would want to do is to connect your store here in AutoDS but since we have installed AutoDS through the Shopify app it means that it is already automatically connected into our store so we don't have to connect it but if in any case you need to connect it into your store if you just went through AutoDS and you haven't connected it yet you want to click here and from here click on add store and this is basically how you can connect your store right here if you already have a store click this one or if you used AI to build your store click this one or if you don't have one click this one right here and click on the continue button so that you can proceed in connecting your store but since we're already done with that we're not gonna dig too deep into that so now from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go click here on add products and from here you can select if you would want to add a single product multiple products or the products of a certain store so you can do that and then you can also go for handpicked products right here so these are the verified bestsellers to add to your store that is curated by AutoDS or you can go for AutoDS Finder if you want to use their top sellers or untrack products that doesn't exist on AutoDS so let's say you would want the single product and then all you have to do basically is provide a URL right here and then you can choose the supplier source right here on which supplier did you get that product. So for example, we'll be using AliExpress. So let's go into AliExpress right here and let's just choose a random product right here. So let's say you would want this cap, say this one. So you want to click on that and all you have to do from here is basically just copy the URL right here. Right click, copy, go back and then from here just paste the URL here. And then from here you can click on edit now if you want to edit the details or you can publish it to your store directly. So let's click on edit now. And now from here it will now be added into draft as you can see right here. 
and we would need to wait so it may take a few minutes for the draft to load right here so you will be notified when it's finished all right so now once it's done importing it into our store you should be able to see it here in the draft section as you can see this is the product that we have imported from aliexpress so if you want to edit the details all you have to do is click here and click to edit click on that and then from here we can change its name so usually we need to change this because we don't want it to be exactly the same so let's say we want to go for this one just this name and then you can add it to your collections you can add tags country location shipping method uh, the default cd brand and so on right here so this is basically where you would edit it so once you are done you can just click on save if you want it to be still in the drafts but if you want to import it into your store you can click here on save and import right here and then as you can see it has now been imported and from here it will now process as you can see right here so you should be seeing it here in your product section once it's all done and as you can see right here it has now finished importing and we now have it here in our product section we now have the cap so once it's here in the product section you can now go here into your shopify click on products and then you should be seeing it here in the products right here in your Shopify store. As you can see, we now have it right here, which is this one right here. So now let's go back into AutoDS. And from here, we're gonna click on add products. And from here, it's basically the same process on each one of these options. So let's say you wanna go for multiple products. You wanna click on that and you'll still have to provide a URL or IDs or CSV, or you can find it here on AutoDS finder if you'd like and the same goes for the handpicked products in this one these are the products that are curated personally from AutoDS to you so these are their winning products that they recommend or you can just click here on the handpicked products and then you can click here on AutoDS Finder and then you can also use this so you can find the perfect products for your store and you would need uh, credits for this one so you would need to pay for this. And as you can see, we now have a credit right here uh, for free. So this is 400 and then you can use it right here. And then the next thing is you have the Untrack products here in AutoDS. You can also import these products into your store by clicking on the connect button right here in order for it to be connected. So yeah, those are basically on how you can add your products by using the add products button here in AutoDS. And now let's go into the marketplace. And now I will be discussing on how you can use uh, these options right here in finding your product. So the first one is the ships too. So you can choose on uh, which countries uh, these products are available to ship to. So if you want them to be shipped to United States, then you can click on United States and then you'll be able to see the products that are able to ship to United States. And you can also go search for currency. If you'd want to convert it into other currency, you can do it right here. And then you can go for ships from so the point of origin of the products so you can uh, select right here on which countries you would like it to be from so let's say you want it to be from france and then you would be uh, shown with products that is from france right here so that is how you do it and the next thing is the price range so let's say you want it to be around 15 to 30 usd according to your currency then it would be priced from 15 to 30 uh usd right here since we have the usd so if we're going to change the currency into gbp as you can see it will also be changed right here which is 15 to 30. so that's how you do it and then the next thing is the supplier so from here you can choose AutoDS suppliers aliexpress or amazon so in this one i recommend AutoDS suppliers because they are so much better they offer uh faster delivery time on average compared to the AliExpress and Amazon and it would also defeat the purpose of using AutoDS if you're not going to use the AutoDS suppliers right here so yeah that is your options right here so when you go into AliExpress as you can see these are such long shipping times right here this is 18 to 16 15 14 10 to 21 and so on when you compare it into AutoDS suppliers right here these are only we have a 4 to 6 we have a 6 to 9 and these are lower compared to the other suppliers and this one is also better because it is from AutoDS itself and you are using the AutoDS platform or you can also use Amazon if you would want to and then you have your categories right here you can go for toys hobbies 
uh, home and garden and so on right here so these are the marketplace this is basically where you would want to go if you would want to browse some products right here on AutoDS but if you would want the, to see the products that are already curated by AutoDS then you can click here on hand pick products this is where we were earlier right here so this products right here is the winning products of AutoDS that they recommend to you because as you can see they have a uh they have the team right here that is dedicated to searching the handpicked products or winning products for you so our handpicked products are curated by our team we handpick the top best sellers to drop ship in order to make sure you find products that are proven to convert right here so there is a team dedicated to researching these products and you would need to uh, pay more by product finding hub add-on right here in order for you to access this winning products right here and i suggest that these are really worth it right here because you don't have to go through the uh, tedious research because these are already researched by the AutoDS team all you have to do is just find the right product that would suit you in selling so let's say you want to click on this one right here and as you can see you will now be uh, prompted right here and then you can see the potential profit being sold for the orders from AutoDS and the engagement, so engagement score uh, saturation score right here if it's too saturated you can see it right here and the target audience social ads right here you can see your competitors from Facebook or from TikTok, you can see it right here. When you click on see original ad, you will be prompted into that exact video itself. And then from here, you can see the creator and the details right here of that certain product, which is this one right here. So yeah, and then you can also click here on ad spy. So this is basically the extension of that feature. So this is where you'd be able to see the competitors of your products. So as you can see, need ideas for most popular dropshipping products, easily browse your TikTok and Facebook ads to find the most popular dropshipping products to sell in your store by purchasing the product finding hub add-on. So when you uh, avail this add-on right here, you would also have the ad spy. And this is also a great way in researching your competitors or your products here. You can also go to trending products and you would also have to pay for the add-on right here so that you would be able to add this toolkit and be the first to unveil and profit from the up and coming best sellers curated through real-time TikTok market analysis right here. So if you'd want the recommendation products of AutoDS, you definitely need to buy the product finding hub add-on right here. This would be really worth it for the investment in your store because this is the best winning products that AutoDS can recommend to you and you don't have to do much of research here because all of the information is already handed to you here in AutoDS in each product. And then the next thing is we also have the print on demand products here in AutoDS. So you can choose what kind of print of demand you would like. So for example, um, we will be choosing this kind of shirt. So you can click here and edit product. And basically you can just add your logo into the garment itself or to the t-shirt right here so you can click here on add image and then from here it would browse through your uh in to your storage here in your pc and then from here i let's say i want to go click on this one right here and let's just say that this is my logo or this is what i want for my design in uh, my uh, shirt so this is how it would look like right here so let's just wait for this one to load and there it is. So this is how it would look like and then you can reposition this however you'd want on the shirt. So you can uh, go here or here depending on what you want. And then you can also go for the location, the layer size right here, rotation, opacity, and so on. So you can do this and you can also go for the back. If you want a design on the back of the shirt, you can also add one right here. So you can definitely edit or make a print on demand products right here, just like on uh, Printify and Etsy and so on. You can also click here on the colors if you'd want to add colors to the shirt. So if you wanna go for true royal, then you can also do that. Click on this color and then the shirt will now be swapped into this color right here and then you can click here on preview right here and now you'd be able to preview the shirt that you have just created as you can see right here preview mock-up and this is how it would look like 
and you can click on the save once you are done right here so I'll click on save and it will now load right there so from here we can now go into our product section and uh, from here uh, in order to add uh, that print of the mud shirt that we have just created what we would need to do is to click on the draft so you need to go to drafts first and then you can see the uh, t-shirt that you have created right here and then you can have the title for this shirt so let's say a uh, sample tutorial shirt and then you can add it to collections, you can add tags, country location, default city, shipping methods, monitoring, and so on right here. So once you're ready to import it to your Shopify store, you want to click on save and import. And then from here, you will go to the product section and then it, it would load in importing your t-shirt right here. So yeah, that is basically how you would uh, create a print on demand product into your store. So now once it has been imported, you can go back into your store and go into products again. And you should be seeing that certain product already imported into your store, as you can see right here. So let's go into products. As you can see, we now have it right here into products. And let's just refresh this so that we would be able to see the product here in our Shopify store. And let's see if we now have it. And as you can see, we now have it, which is right here already, sample tutorial shirt. And from here, you can just edit the price if you'd want to. And you already have the description for that, as you can see. And now let's go back into AutoDS. So now that you know the print on a demand right here, so basically you can uh, just uh, do the same process on different styles of shirts. You can go for uh, this sando and you can go for a hoodie and so on right here. You have a lot to choose from right here on AutoDS. You can also go for the dashboard here. And this is basically where you would be able to see your profits, orders, total revenue, new products, and so on. This is where you would be able to monitor your progress as easy as that. And then you can modify the time right here, depending on which timeline you would want to see your stats. And then the next thing is the orders. This is basically where you will be fulfilling your orders here in AutoDS, as simple as that. And you can go for the sourcing request. So if you would want to get products faster and check product quality, you can also have customizable branding right here when you are sourcing your product. So as you can see, you don't have any sourcing requests yet. But if you have one, then this is basically where you will be seeing it. And the product section. So we have already discussed this. This is where you will be able to see the products imported into your store and your drafts right here, which is the products that are not yet imported, but the products that you have saved. And lastly is the customer support. This is also very important right here. So the customer support here in AutoDS is superb. I recommend that if you need in any help specifically here in AutoDS store, I recommend that you go to the customer support so that they would be able to give you the specific help that you would need for your store because they reply promptly and they would be able to solve your uh, problem. And now the last thing is the settings here in AutoDS. So you want to click here to access the settings and then you can uh, find the supplier settings right here. You can go for AliExpress, print or demand, or you can go for Amazon if you'd want to. And you can see the settings right here, the pricing orders in general right here. You can also go for the automations. This is very helpful. And if you want some uh, in-depth tutorial on how you can do automations in AutoDS, you can comment down below. And then you can also go for the templates right here, the keywords, the plans that you have availed, or the additional add-ons right here. You can also see it right here. The account and billing users, buyer accounts, notifications, and your store settings itself right here. This is where you would be able to access and modify your options here. So that is basically it for this video on the AutoDS Shopify dropshipping tutorial. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.